So I started this job with Senator Tim Scott as a, a caseworker with constituent services in late July. Um, I graduated in May, uh, spoke to Evan Jenkins, another alumni of the political science program, and he got me in the door. And so now I, I serve constituents in regards to veteran affairs, the IRS, and postal service. So I started doing that in July, and I'm also in the master's program for finance at USC Aiken. I think USC Aiken's political science program was the most instrumental thing in preparing me not just for a job in politics, but to be successful in my master's program and when I go to law school afterwards. Um, the breadth of knowledge that was provided to me, the one-on-one -on -one with all the professors you included, sir, was just monumental in preparing me to be successful with research, with being able to communicate with people, um, just being a confident individual in the professional world altogether. Um, one that I would say is particularly impactful now that I'm actually in the political world was political theory. It forced me to look outside of what I understood to be the Republican Party or the Democratic Party. It, it forced me to look at not only the theory behind the parties, but why people think in that way. Um, why conservative values are so important on the right. Why a liberal you know, mind frame is so important to, to getting your, your liberal, liberal views on the left. It, it really was impactful in looking past what you see as everyday partisanship and getting to the very root of what we consider ourselves um, on a political spectrum. I think the faculty, is just, they're so good at their own little niche in politics. Um, somebody like Dr. Young, who's just incredibly brilliant when it comes to policy. Somebody like you on the theory aspects of it. Uh, Dr. Thornburg, uh, I mean, just the entirety of the political science department are so good at what they do. And the fact that it is such a small faculty and it is such a small group of us that were in it, it just, it gave us more experience and more one-on-one uh, -on -one with each of you that I think makes you incredibly prepared when you get out into the real world if you do decide to, to move on into politics. The other students were also so instrumental in my success in the political science department because not only were we um, able to engage each other within the classroom and everybody was so close because it was such a small community that we felt comfortable talking to each other about you know hot button topics within politics but when you get out everybody had conversations out in the, in the quad or at lunch or if you live together there were just so much community within the political science department that i think it it opened up you know, dialogue that I think a lot of other schools wouldn't have. Um, another political science alumni, uh, Wilson Stenmeyer, is a, a dear friend of mine. We live together on campus. We're living together now. And we agree on a lot of things, but there's some things we disagree on. And we have no problem coming together, having conversations about why we disagree. Maybe he'll change my thought process on something. Maybe I'll change his. Uh, somebody like an Evan Jenkins is another great example that we can just have conversations and we can try to change each other's minds, but we respect whatever decision we come up with because we know that that comes from a place of, of our own personal um, experiences and our own personal uh, beliefs. So I think a place like USC Aiken has been incredible because it gives you that opportunity to speak to people with so many different views and beliefs and ideals and morals and they're fine with you coming up with your own decisions and your own beliefs at the end of the day. I, I don't remember what class it was in, but there was one particular class and we were talking about um, a hot button issue on, oh gosh, what was it? I think the Supreme Court. And we were, we were talking about it and there were two people in the classroom that had very different ideas on why this was wrong and right. And it was just such a great conversation. I think it took about 20 minutes out of the class, but I think it also gave us the ability to listen to two arguments that were very valid in their argument, but 
completely opposite of one another. And no one yelled at each other. No one was mad. It was just a good conversation about why they believed this and why they disagreed. And I think it was incredible to, to see that because you don't see that in the world today. You don't see that peaceful dialogue about differences. It's, it's always got to be an argument. And I think that was incredible. Another one was in Dr. Young's class. She had a women in public policy class. And I think there were two guys in the class. And there was a case involving a young female soldier. And Dr. Young called on me. And she wanted my perspective as a military student. And I felt that as a, as a male student, that it was not really my place to give my viewpoints. But she, she made me feel comfortable and she made me understand that the class did want to know from a military student what I thought about it. And so just having that opportunity was, was an incredible experience and I, I was really appreciative of it. USC Aikens Political Science Department is going to give you not only the skills to succeed, not only in politics, but in anything you decide to do after school. You're going to get all the knowledge that these incredible professors have and that they want to, to give out to their students. And you're going to create a community with your fellow students because it is such a small program that you're truly going to become best friends with these, with these other students. I think USC Aiken is an incredible school and as someone who planned to take one year and then transfer and then make USC Aiken my home as a lot of students are doing, I really believe that USC Aiken and USC Aiken's political science department are just the best, absolutely the best. I would not have changed a thing. Sorry. I was lucky enough to be on the mock trial team for two years under Dr. Thornburg and it was an incredible experience. Not only did I, I get close to some of my best friends still to this day, but it, it really um, led me to know that moving into the law as a career was absolutely the right choice for me. Um, it showed what you can do to help people through the law and it, it really just kind of uh, pounded that point in that, that I want to do that to help folks. So it was an incredible experience. I wish I would have done it for three years, but I, uh, I was, I was happy to have gotten that experience. So I want to say that I think that I would not be anywhere near as successful as I am today if it wasn't for the department. Um, not only the professors, you included Dr. Crumb, they were instrumental in my, my professional development, but being able to to learn and grow with all the students with the clubs that i was able to join mock trial team that i was able to join i mean it's just an incredible organization and an incredible department and i think anybody that goes there is going to be successful